Hi everyone, I am Dan and these videos are for people who are new to testing and I will demonstrate how to complete each test and how to complete your schedule of test results. This test is going to be about polarity. Before you complete each test, ensure you have your on-site guide with you and open to the correct page and for polarity tests it needs to be open to page 121 and we will be completing column 26 in your schedule of test results. Polarity testing, as you can see, I am not in. I haven't got a mega on my test machine. As long as you have completed the R1 plus R2 test, you have completed the polarity test. There are a few things you just need to check further. We have polarity tests A, B, and C. A are details that do we have our live conductors, our line conductors going into our MCBs. I, we do not switch neutrals. So the visual check in your MCB, sorry, in your DB, uh, have, I, have I got only live cables, only the brown cables going into my MCBs? And we can see uh, in this DB, I have. Polarity test B is very specific to this type of lamp holder. These old school screw lamps, the ES, Edison screw lamps. Polarity test B ensures that we've got the outer connector, this thread connection, is to the neutral and the centre pin contact is to the live. We must ensure that. That's polarity test B. Polarity test C simply says, are the live cables, the brown cables, going into the live connection? and are the neutral cables going into the neutral connections and then the earth cables into the earth cables. So that's a visual check. So when I've gone and done my R1 plus R2 test, where I'm testing at the sockets, I'm testing between live and earth, live and neutral, and when I'm up on my light switches, I'm testing between live and earth, and on my lamps, testing at live and earth, I'm visually seeing and checking that the lives and the lives, neutrals and neutrals, earths and the earths. So if you complete your R1 plus R2 test correctly, there is no further test to do for polarity. Now we'll have a close-up look of the schedule of test results and we'll look at column 26. Looking at the schedule of test results for our polarity test, we were testing a ground floor lighting circuit, which was circuit number 9. Let me turn the page. Circuit number 9, we go along to column 26 and it says polarity. So we checked polarity test A, B and C. We also confirmed polarity by performing our R1 plus R2 test correctly. So all we put in column 26 is a tick. And that's all we need to complete in our schedule of test results. Now we'll have a quick look at the on-site guide. Page 121. We have a picture here showing a temporary link between live and earth and then our tester is at our sockets or lighting circuits. We're testing between live and earth which is exactly the test we did for our R1 plus R2. Here we've got further details of polarity test A, B and C which I spoke about earlier on. But that is our polarity test complete. Thank you for watching the video. Remember, we've got plenty of other videos on all of the other tests that you can do, and there are also many videos on cable calculations and all sorts of things that you're going to need to know to complete level two and level three in electrical installation. Now, if you want my tabs that I have on my BS7671, visit the website electricalstudent.co.uk where you can purchase those. Also on the website, loads of free stuff, loads of practice tests, mock exam questions and such like. Working with electrical insulation guys, remember, be safe. Most importantly, listen to your lecturers. He or she definitely knows best. Take care guys, see you soon.